Hello everybody, I'm Henry Li. Now I'm doing some uh, demo of uh, how to paint uh, leaves uh, in Chinese brush painting, flower leaves. Um, here we have uh, chrysanthemum, no flower, just little bud, and uh, rose, no flower, only the leaves. Um, and uh, this uh, plant um, called uh, tomorrow's leaf from Japan is a herb, but uh, uh, the leaves are very uh, similar to peony, so three kind of leaves, the, uh, the uh, chrysanthemum, the uh, rose, and the uh, uh, peony. The peony leaves come uh, with uh, three sections per leaflet, <coughs> and with this uh, deep notch, like so. The center is a, is a, um, like this, and then <laughs> we we paint the veins. We can use a leaf vein brush or a small brush. Usually it's a small weasel brush, you can do that. And I have this uh, synthetic uh, brush pen. <coughs> and uh, if you take a closer look, you can see the veins, okay? So um, there's a center vein, like so. On some painting, you only need to do the uh, center. So it's not center vein. That's not necessary in the center. Just you can see the uh, and then there's secondary for each section. And then the sec secondary veins. Um, they are not actually parallel. I'm not sure on real peony, but uh, you know we, we can. Because um, in, in my brush painting class, normally we we do it in a symmetrical way, like like it, like this. You know, this is a, a better example. But most students will do something like that, and this is a very uh, unnatural. So at least you vary the lens, you know, the, they're closer to the um, <coughs> tip. Dance right uh, here. Very suggestively. So Here is short and dense, something like that. Right? This is peony, peony leaves, and there are nine on the um, leaf stem. Let's move on to. Uh, Chrysanthemum. The chrysanthemum leaves here are more rounded, right? It also has uh, notches. Let me just take a leaf from the plant and place it. So you can take a closer look. This is uh, the lower, lower leaf. Um, the younger leaf is smaller and a, a little uh, oval. So we usually start from the the top. When you uh, load the brush, you load in a gradation, you know, with light ink, and then some dark ink, right? And then you would do uh, the the young leaf near the flower first, and then gradually uh, it become uh, larger. Like that, right? 
this is the the leaf of the chrysanthemum. And what's the pair, uh, the vein look like? You see that? Let me do another leaf here. So it has notches on that. Uh, it, you could vary um, according to perspective. They are not parallel. That, that's, uh, um, but you know, near the end, it looks like parallel. But uh, if you look co very closely, um, look at this. They're not parallel. Can you take? Can you see that? So um, they more look like uh, this. And uh, there's no. Um, like a dense little secondary veins, so we we just do the long uh, central vein for each section, each each uh, leaflet. Let's see, like that. This is the center, and then. Now let's to look at uh, the roses. Roses are rounded, right? The, the leaves are rounded. So let's do the, the basic shape first in uh, spontaneous style. You can study the leaf with outline first. It will help you to understand better. But uh, let's just do the spontaneous style. If not, uh, one stroke is not enough, you can add another one next to it. And there's a pointed uh, tip. Hold the brush loosely so the, you know, the stroke does, does not look like a, a stiff, you know. Um, Five, five leaflets. Uh, then we add the veins. And you can also add the parallel. This time it's parallel. Um, You can start from the tip. But uh, um, you don't have to do something like that. Although it may look like that uh, for roses, but <laughs> if you look closely, there's still some uh, um, not, you know, they were not starting from the same, same point, right? Just, you know, study it carefully and don't uh, just simplify it, like, you know, into this kind of uh, leaf and your painting will greatly uh, improve. And uh, don't, uh, you know, always paint the center vein in the middle. Um, Vary the the, sh the perspective. I hope this uh, little study helped you. Um, see you next time. Bye bye.